Welcome to our lecture online and our next example is dealing with a cylinder, dealing with the volume of the cylinder and the uh, instructions here are that the height of the cylinder is twice the diameter and the volume is 32 pi cubic feet. I know that's an odd volume but it makes the numbers come out better and they're asking what are the dimensions of this cylinder. So we know that the diameter is the smallest of the two dimensions, but then usually we find the volume in terms of the radius, and the radius is smaller than the diameter. So I'm going to start out by saying let x equal the radius, r. And so we know that the diameter is twice the radius, so therefore we can say that 2x equals the diameter d, and since the height is twice the diameter, and the diameter is 2x, that means the height must be 4x, so 4x equals the height. Now we need an equation for the volume of the cylinder, and we know that the volume is equal to the area of the base times the height. Okay, area of the base, you know that the base is a circle, so therefore area of the base is pi r squared, so volume equals pi r squared, and the height would be h, and now we can ex express the volume in terms of x because we have the translation right here. We know that r is equal to x and h is equal to 4x. So we can then write that the volume is equal to pi times x squared times h and h would be 4x which means that the volume is equal to 4 pi x cubed and then what we're given that the volume is 32 pi so we can say that 32 pi is equal to 4 pi x cubed and now we have to find what x is equal to so here you can see that we can divide both sides by pi and we can divide both sides by 4 so let's do that so 4 pi 4 pi that cancels out the pi's cancel out here and 32 divided by 4 is 8 so we have 8 is equal to x cubed and then of course we take the cube root of both sides so therefore x is equal to the cube root of 8 which is equal to 2 that means that the radius is equal to 2 feet, the diameter is equal to 4 feet, and the height is equal to 8, Oop. Two, four, 4 times 2, 8 feet, that's right, 8 feet, and those are the dimensions of our cylinder, and that's how we do that. Again, the idea is that you let x equal the smallest quantity, in this case radius would be the appropriate conversion for x, and that's how we solve a problem like that.